damn, Nick, you did this? <laughs> Y'all know what the fuck going down. Just clap, man. It's the school, baby. Gym series, baby. Y'all know what the fuck going down. Alright, so tell us how you first like started getting into like making music and stuff like that. Shit, I got into making music and shit. Fucking around with my big brothers, you know. Watching them blow up and shit in the city, local, local, locally and shit. Like, seeing them get a little buzz and shit. That shit kind of made me. Shot from like school and yeah. lame ass niggas and shit made me start hanging with real older motherfuckers like them and shit and just getting a lot of knowledge to rap. You feel me? Yeah. You can't rap if you don't know nothing. So that's what I really did. So like, do you remember like the first time you ever like um ever like recorded a song? Shit, the, yeah, I remember that. I remember the first time I recorded a song. The first time I recorded a song, it was motherfucking young boy. It was called Young Boy. Mm. Everybody from G K, if y'all know, y'all know that motherfucker. That was my first song. Yeah, that was around by like 2016 type shit. Right when, um, right after my big brother Malik died and shit. That's when I really started rapping with G M C and shit. Mm. So, like, how would you describe like your style? Like, when it comes to like making music, like, if you had to describe it to somebody, yeah, how would you describe like? Your style? Like, oh shit. The type of style I got shit, it's just on the fast pace shit. Like, you gonna hear me, I'm, I really be trying to really rap over the beats. Like, I don't really be, you feel me? I, I don't know if I be on beat or whatever, or off beat, whatever. I just know I be going in enough for a motherfucker to hear me, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I just yeah. want a motherfucker to hear what I'm saying. They gotta hear what I'm saying. If you ain't hearing what I'm saying, then yeah, it ain't shit. Yeah. How long does it usually take you to like, make a song? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, shit, recently, it's been like, I've been taking a little while to make the motherfuckers with two verses, like, but like, usually, like, at first when I was really like, I ain't gonna lie, nigga been on other shit, like, nigga been rapping, but a nigga been on other shit, you yeah. I see, so like, a nigga really, I ain't gonna say I kind of like, got lazy with my crowd, but I did, I know I did, you know what I'm saying, I know myself. Well, like, why you say that, why you say you got lazy with your crowd? Cause like, I be I be listening to my new music for real like and I be like my old shit was kind of like faster mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying like yeah. my new shit like so, I it don't sound be the same a whole different type of but it's me still it's my own shit but you know like it's just different I don't know that shit just different so like do you um, do you write or do you just go in there you just punch in I just punch in I used to write when I first started like you feel me. I used to write, I ain't gonna count. But a nigga, a nigga getting focused on writing again. Like, a nigga finna really blow to shit. Nigga finna, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga been writing lately. Nigga been mm. trying to see, you know what I'm saying, what's going on for it. Nigga gotta really perfect this shit. Like, nigga gotta really have this shit sound like the fans really want to mm. sound. Fuck how I want to sound, you know what I'm saying? That's what it was about at first. It was just how I want to sound. Me punching in. That's, that's me, how I want to sound. Mm. With. A nigga gotta really write it down, let them people hear that shit. So, so you say you t you had took a little break from music. So go ahead and talk a little bit about like a break from music. Shit, I, I took a break from music cause I had to. Shit, I I had went to jail. Shit, I went to juvenile on some other shit. People that know they know. And shit, the judge had stopped me from making music, stopped me from doing videos cause I was popping. I was, you know what I'm saying? I was yeah, that I'm nigga on my mom for the judge. Like this little ass nigga, 16 years old, walking in my courtroom, doing all this crazy shit out here in the free world. Yeah. And I, I'm finna let him back in the free world, but shit, it's gonna be some terms and conditions with back in the free world. So boom, that's what it was. Nigga was on some like, you feel me? No dropping music, straight. At home, mm -hmm. you feel me? Twenty four hours supervised house. So they was they were strict on you. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah, they was strict. My little brother just got off house arrest too. Like, you feel me? Shout out, baby, it was too. Shit show. So like now, what what do you plan on doing with music? You plan on just being like consistently, just like keep on dropping, or are you you taking it one step? Like you got a plan? Like you got a plan? Nah, right now I'm taking it. I'm trying to drop, I ain't doing no plan. Like right yeah. now, this year, I'm taking this shit over again. Like like I had it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I plan on releasing shit. The rest of this year, I'm finna drop some shit with Peso. I'm finna hopefully 
Queen, when Queen sent me the little verse back on the shit, I'm mm, gonna drop that motherfucking shit video of that bitch. And then, sure, I got a lot of my little artists that I'm supposed to be doing shit with. Shout out Ugly Call, he tapped in. Shout out motherfucking me. Lil CJ Casino, that my nigga, he tapped in. Shout out Loretta Savage. You know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas really that fuck with me, like, generous mm. type of love that's going on. Yeah. Tell us how you got into contact like with uh Meek Meek and um Oh yeah, shout out Meek Mill too on my mama. I forgot yeah. about Meek Mill. Shout yeah. out Meek Brother, like bro real in the bitch, bro real nigga. Shit, how I got in contact with Meek Mill, I I don't know. It was crazy Instagram. It's just mm-hmm. some Instagram shit like nigga had Walk had Solid Walker posted my shit. Shout out Solid Walker too. He posted my shit, I was fucking with Walker when I first popped type shit like and he really wanted to sign me, like, have me under the and stuff, but it was some other shit going on, so, nigga, and really, I had another, like, opportunity I took, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. instead yeah. of, you know what I'm saying, but yeah. I fuck with me, bro, he got the, he got his label shit, they doing the right shit right now, but, um, what was the question again? Shit, I had said, uh, fuck, what was the question? Like, oh, yeah, how you got in contact with me? Oh, yeah. How I got in contact with me, yeah. Yeah. You said Instagram. Motherfucking me, it was Instagram, yeah. So I was like posting my shit, it was Instagram. What about Ugly God? And shit. Ugly God, Instagram. Yeah. Instagram, so that type shit, That's all it is. A nigga, yeah. a nigga was on Instagram one day. This how I got in contact with me. I was on Instagram one day. I was next to Walt. You feel me? I was next to Peso. Peso, brother, Julo called me. He said, bitch. Where you at right now? I said, I'm, I'm at Walk House. I'm at Walk. He was like, uh, bro, I know I ain't tripping, bro. This nigga make me follow you. I was like, hell nah, you tripping. He was like, you, you really tripping. Yeah. Like, I would have been seeing that shit, like, nigga. But my Instagram was going up so much. At oh, so time, you ain't even noticed that he had followed you. I didn't see Meek Mill follow me. He been following me, like, three days ago. It so you had like found out. So you had found out somebody from somebody else that Meek Mill had yeah, found out about Yeah, but nigga, my big bro called me, Julo, Julo Snowman. He called me. Hey, bitch, Meek Mill followed you. I'm like, hell nah. So boom, walk instantly grabbed the phone. Go check your shit. So I check it. I'm like, damn, that shit crazy. It kind of like struck me at that moment. That's when I knew a nigga like really is somebody. Like a nigga really like, like my voice really stand for mm-hmm. something now. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? When a nigga like that fucking with you, that mean you, like, you ain't just rapping on no bullshit. Nigga, yeah. don't, nigga really like what you rapping about. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So y'all ever had any, like, conversations, like, about getting anything in the works? In the DM? Yeah. Not on no working and shit, yeah. but, like, on some, he, like, he be texting me, fuck with me. Like, he be trying to keep me motivated to mm-hmm. see what I'm gonna do. Then, maybe, on the other end, on the back end, when a nigga do get be what a nigga supposed to be right now. Shit, he gon' fuck with a nigga for real, for real, and yeah. try to put that bag on a nigga or something. But you know. If you could uh, open the show for any artist, like, any artist in the world, like, who would it be? Shit, right now, I'm fucking with Polo G. That's my oh, favorite. Why you say Polo G? Jesus, that's my favorite artist. I don't give a fuck what a nigga talking about. Ain't nobody fucking with the GOAT, for real. Cause shit, I say Polo G cause shit, it's just my fact, I fuck with bro, like bro rap about everything, like he rap about real life too, like I really, you feel me, I really relate to mm-hmm. what he talk about, yeah. all type of different music he makes, so it's like everything I hear, as soon as I hear that nigga voice, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. it's that, like me too. Uh, what can you say is some of like the best advice, like you done ever been given like when it comes to like music and shit like that. Yeah, the best advice I was given is by shit, Kid and Lou. He the one that he the one that made me like made me who I am and made me mm-hmm. feel comfortable with the rap shit. Like at first, like before I knew about school and shit, all that shit, a nigga was comfortable with what I had going on, but when I started fucking with Big Bro, mm-hmm. it just like made me open up a little bit more to the world, like nigga like so how your relationship like, with uh, Kenny Lou? How did that how did that come about? Shit, my relationship with Kenny Lou, it started it started fucking with Peso. Like that's how I met him, like in real mm-hmm. life. But I been knew Kenny Lou, like I been knew about yeah. him and shit. Like my daddy and his daddy best friends. Oh, so his like, daddy died. Like, like mutual, been, like it's like been I been like you know what I'm saying. Like I been supposed to been around this man, but he was in jail. Like mm-hmm. he he had other shit going on when he was younger, so. When he got out and started rapping and shit, mm-hmm. being Kenny Lou and shit, 
You feel me? He got around TSF and shit. I got around TSF and shit. And then he seen me. We locked eyes. We started fucking with each other. Then we introduced each other who we was and who mm -hmm. our people was. And he was like, damn, like, you down there like my real little brother or something. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was really like genuine love, like yeah, off the rip. Like, he was like, nigga, like, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. you, you with me? Like, if can lose a lot of that, I would have signed to Ken Lou. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, Whatever. so like, <clears throat> speaking of that, like in the next five years, where do you see yourself? Do you see yourself like even still making music, or do you see yourself expanding and like maybe even signing your whole artist one day, or like yeah, just turning I, into I something see else? Yeah, I myself signing my people. I'm a, I ain't gonna lie, bro. If I ever go up, bro, Lord say the same, but for me to go up, bro, I hope I do. I pray I do. As long as my fans and people that really fuck with this shit help me get up and get up to that point, bro, I'm gonna sign the trenches, bro. I'm gonna sign my niggas that's really been around me. Like, yeah. niggas that, I'm gonna give niggas an opportunity to rap. If they don't wanna rap, I'm gonna give niggas other opportunities yeah. to be a cameraman, producer, other shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what type of shit I'm on. I ain't yeah. signing no outside nigga, and I got niggas in the trenches home. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's yeah. done to me. So, shout out to everybody that's signing niggas from other states and other communities that you not from. That's lame as fuck to me. Shit, my message is I love y'all to death. Keep doing this shit, keep rocking with this GMC shit, keep rocking with this school baby shit, and we gonna go up on my mama. And I promise y'all, as long as I see and know y'all rocking with this shit, motherfucking me, I'ma turn up with y'all whenever, wherever, as long as I know who, you know what I'm saying? I, I watch Instagram, I see y'all motherfuckers, I know who y'all is, so if I see you in person and I know you rock with this shit, I'ma fuck with you, you know what I mean? That's another thing. All my fans, when you see me in person, bro, come fuck with me, bro, if you know me. Because it's all that staring and shit, looking and shit, that shit made me feel weird. That shit feel like, like how that shit feel? Do you feel like threatened or do you feel like, like, I, like what's the feeling when you feel that? I feel threatened because shit, nigga, if you know you fuck with me, nigga, that's just like, if I fuck with a nigga, that's just like, Motherfucking me, niggas I see, like, that, that, that don't know me, that's in the industry that I see at Lil Vince and shit. And I go fuck with him, mm -hmm. you get what I'm saying? Yeah, say I'm something. not finna stare at a nigga on some groupy shit and just be staring the whole time. They gonna think I'm on something. That's where I'm from. Like, nigga, where I'm from, niggas, you staring at a nigga too long. Come on, bro. What you on, bro? Yeah, type shit. You hear me? Hey, yeah. So, so what else you say you was talking? You said you got, you got two, you got, you got one peso and you got one Quinn coming up. Yeah, shit, I you got, got any like thing up. like just just you coming up like um shit I got some shit with me coming up too like I got a video I'm finna drop you know what I'm saying a lot of shit you hear five big five yeah we got a lot of shit coming when is that yeah, coming you, you got a date on it or not yet? I don't got no day on it but I know I, I got a mixtape we got a mixtape coming on twelve thirty for sure uh December thirty called Salt D World we dropping the motherfucker on all platforms it's gonna be. Our songs with my brother Salty on the motherfucking RP. I don't let my brother feel this shit. You know how we rockin' about that shit. It is what it is, though. Man, y'all know the fuck going down, man. This drip, baby, man. Rich, baby, man. Shout out Bust Down Media. Shout out my nigga Rich. Y'all know what's up, man. Y'all know what it is, man. I got my people with me, man. Big Five, man. I don't play like that. Baby. So. I'ma school on your block and get rid of you Ooh. Finna go get a bag when I'm finna do Finna go you my shoe, fuck a Jimmy too You ain't drippin' with us, I ain't feelin' you Try to scoot up on us and we spillin' you Ooh. Tell her out to be ready, we finna scoop Be Nigga, back up and splash in the billy coop I like got this shit, what got into you Be Get a flight with some hundred, that Chrissy blue Call me up, now I'm stuck like the sticks I'm glue Broke a hatin', ain't nobody fix you Broke in the dish and hit and they blitzin' you Scoot a little with Drake till we rippin' you Ain't no stay with South Z cause he with it too If he slide, then fuck it, he get it too Who gon' scoot and now everybody missin' you Bitch, I been number one, so you finna lose. In the streets with a gun, I ain't finna lose. Bitch, we do this for fun, so we finna school. Screw up, guys. See, Rich, baby, I just controlled the motherfucking room to bust down me. Gang.